material is also known as tympanic cavity or tympanum. It is a narrow air filled space situated at the petrous part of temporal bone. This is the middle ear. And is laterally it is separated by the tympanic membrane. And is medially there is a bony canal that is a house of oval window and a rounded window. There is a rounded window is present and here is an oval window is present. And this bony part is separated from the middle ear to inner ear. And this middle ear is a six sided boxes. In a coronal section, it is biconcave. And this medial and lateral wall are closest to the each other in the center. Andro posteriorly and horizontal vertically, andro posteriorly and vertically, it is 50 millimeter in diameter and horizontally. Horizontally above it is 6 millimeter, below 4 millimeter, and the center part is 2 millimeter in diameter. And this tympanic cavity is divided into three parts. Tympanic cavity proper or mesotympanum that is lies opposite to the tympanic membrane. This is the tympanic membrane. This part is lies opposite to the tympanic membrane. This part is known as mesotympanum. This part. And which lies the above the level of the tympanic membrane that is known as epitympanum. This is the epitympanum and it lies below the tympanic membrane that is known as hypotympanum. And this cavity of the middle ear consists of floor, roof. There is a medial wall and there is a lateral wall. This is a posterior wall and here is an anterior wall. Boundaries of the middle layer. Roof or tegmental wall. This is the roof. And this roof is separated the middle ear from the middle cranial fossa. It is formed by a thin plate of bone is known as tegment dimbani. Here is middle ear separated by a thin plate of bone is known as tegment dimbani. And it is also extended posteriorly to form the roof of aditus of mastoid andra. It separates the dimbani cavity from the middle cranial fossa. And this jugular wall is formed by a thin plate of bone which is separated from the middle ear from the superior bulb of internal jugular vein. Here is a internal jugular vein is present and the superior bulb of internal jugular vein is largest the jugular fossa of the inferior surface of the petrous part of temporal bone. Hence that is jugular fossa is formed by the floor of the middle ear. And near the medial border of the floor, there is a small aperture that is known as tympanic canaliculus through which the tympanic branch of glossopharyngeal nerve enters through the middle ear. Here, this is the way. And this tympanic canaliculus is present between the carotid canal anteriorly and the jugular fossa posteriorly. The anterior wall. This carotid wall is the main content is the internal carotid artery. So it is known as carotid wall. And this carotid canal that is passing to the internal carotid artery. 
the internal carotid artery is containing plexus around the internal carotid nerve or sympathetic plexus and this process of trochlear reform is, is a curved hook like structure of the monist septum and is hook around the tendon of the tensor tympanum muscle and the upper part there is a canal of tensor tympanum muscle and the eustachian tube opening is present this is the auditory tube or eustachian tube is open and this is a canal of tensor tympanum muscle In this wall, there is formed by tympanic membrane and is separated by external layer to middle layer and hence it is known as tympanic wall. The tympanic membrane is the main content of this wall, hence it is known as tympanic wall. And this caudine tympanic nerve is crossed to the medial surface of the tympanic membrane that is arising from the posterior canaliculus to the anterior canaliculus. The malleus is fixed in the the layer of tympanic membrane. This is the handle of the malleus that is fixed in the layer of tympanic membrane. The labyrinth, this is the labyrinthine wall or medial wall. This medial wall is separate the middle layer from the ex internal layer. The containing many features that are first one is promontory. This is the promontory an oval window an oval window is formed by the fenestra vestibule this is the fenestra vestibule there is a rounded window there is a rounded window is formed by the fenestra cochlea that is this is the fenestra cochlea tibani part of bony facial canal this is the bony facial canal Lateral semicircular canal. This is the lateral semicircular canal. Processor trochlearyformis. This is the processor cochlearyformis. These features are seen in the medial wall of the middle ear. The oval window. This oval window or fenestra vestibule is an oval opening postro superior to the promontory that is postro superior to the promontory this is the promontory this oval window is lies postro superior to the promontory and it leads into the vestibule of the internal ear and is closer by the foot place of stapes this is the stapes and this base of the stapes is, is closed by the oval window that is finista vestibule promontory this is a promontory and is a rounded bulging produced by the first turn of the cochlea and it is grouped by the tympanic plexus look this figure this elevation is produced by first end of the cochlea and this elevation containing plexus of tympanic nerve that is tympanic plexus next one is the fenestra vestibule that is oval window this is the fenestra vestibule or oval window it is lies postro superior to the promontory it leads into the vestibule of the internal ear and is closed by the foot plate of the stapes. There is a prominence of fascia canal run backwards above the fenestra vestibule and is reached the lower margin of the aditus. Below, 
it enter into the stylo master of ramen the fenestra cochlea this is the fenestra cochlea that is a rounded opening it opened into the scala vestibule of the cochlea and is closed by the secondary tympani membrane that is a scala vestibule sinus tympani this is a sinus tympani is a depression behind the promontory this is the promontory the depression behind the promontory is known as sinus tympani opposite the ampulla of the posterior semicircular canal processor trochlear form is the processor cochlear form is that also seen in the anterior wall that is a hook like structure that hook around the tendon of the tensor tympani muscle another prominence is the prominence of the lateral semicircular canal above the that lies above the facial canal these are the features of the medial wall of or labyrinthine wall wall or mastoid wall in this wall containing mastoid antrum mastoid aracels and mastoid process hence is known as mastoid wall the upper part of the mastoid wall there is a large air filled space is known as adductus of mastoid antrum below there is a small depression is present that is known as fossa indices which lodges a short process of the ingus below the fossa indices there is another conical projection is called a pyramid this one it lies near the junction of the posterior and the medial wall it has an opening at the apex of the passage for the tendon of stapedius muscle this one and the canal of facial nerve is descending downwards with the canal of the pyramid mastoid antrum this is the mastoid antrum the roof of the mastoid antrum is separated by a middle cranial fossa this is a tegmen tympani there is a tegmen tympani tympani cantre is present and the lateral wall that is formed with the squamous part of the temporal bone and this medial wall is medially that is related to the posterior and the horizontal semicircular canals and the posteriorly communicated with the several openings that is mastoid aracels this mastoid antrum is a important surgical landmark and is 1.25 cm deep to the supramiata triangle it lies 1.25 cm deep to the supramiata triangle in this figure we can see all the features of the walls of the middle ear cavity and you must draw this diagram contents of the middle ear cavity that has air three ossicles that are malleus incus and stapes two muscles that is tensor tympani and stapedius muscle two nerves caudate tympani and tympani plexus a mucosal fold ligaments and blood vessels are present within the middle ear cavity of the middle ear arteries are the middle ear is supplied by two main arteries that are anterior tympani branch of maxillary artery 
സ്റ്റൈലോമാസ്റ്റോയുടെ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് പോസ്റ്റീരിയ ഓറിക്കുലർ ആർട്ടറി ആൻഡ് ഫോർ മൈനർ ആർട്ടറീസ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ പെട്രോസൽ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് മിഡിൽ മെനിഞ്ചൽ ആർട്ടറി സുപ്പീരിയ ടിമ്പാനി ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് മിഡിൽ മെനിഞ്ചൽ ആർട്ടറി ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ആർട്ടറി ഓഫ് ട്രെറുഗോഡ് കനാൽ ടിമാനി ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ഇൻഡാന കരോട്ടിഡ് ആർട്ടറി അത് വെയിൻസ് ആർ ടെറുഗോഡ് വീനസ് ഫ്ലെക്സസ് ആൻഡ് സുപ്പീരിയ പെട്രോസൽ സൈനസ് Nasoplay, the tympani branch of glossopharyngeal nerve and the superior and inferior carotico-tympanic nerve arising from the tympani plexus around the indiana carotid artery. That nerve is known as indiana carotid nerve. The drainage, parotid, deep cervical and rotopharyngeal group of lymph nodes are drained from the deep. ക്ടമി Mastoditis, that is an inflammation of the mucosal lining of the mastoid andra and the mastoid air cells inside the mastoid process. Thank you.